，那儿高位，高位。Welcome back to my next YouTube video. So, I would love to let you all know to that I do have a Facebook page and to like and subscribe down below. I would appreciate it. So today I'm just going to. I have this jar. So I have the closest people outside of my family to me are like Filipinos, and they speak a lot of Filipino. The dialogue, I think it's called. The, I don't know. There's like all these different languages in the Philippines, Filipinos, and but they speak to dialogue a lot from the one that I remember most. Anyway, I have this jar, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out this. I'm gonna try and say it in the Filipino, and then I'm gonna try and say it in the English or Australian way. So basically, Filipinos for Australians. Alright, let's get started. Oh my, so this chicken just came up to me and there's in our yard at the moment. I don't like chickens, they're scary, just, they just give me the biggest fear. I don't know why, like, they give me anxiety so bad. And they just came up here and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I freaked out. Alright, anyway, the first one that I have picked is hello. So, hello, so in Australia, when people say hello, it's just g'day mate, or what's up, <laughs> I say what's up a lot, what's up, or g'day, uh, what else, yeah, just like what's up, g'day, and the main two, I think, pretty sure, They're the main two ones in Australian culture, Filipino language it's to dialogue is the main language um, hello means hello so that is the Australian version hello hello this is the Filipino hello <laughs> hello <laughs> like it sounds very different. Hello. Hello. It's kind of like, it's got that American, I don't know, like that American hello, and then it's got the Australian kind of hello in mixed into it. It's like, hello, hello, hello is hello. I say hello, and here it's like hello, like, hello. Yeah. It's, it's a weird, like, it's, I'm like, I'm not used to that sort of so it's like half of me to understand but yeah it's you know it's new it's new hello 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 <laughs> oh my gosh the one that i have here is how are you so when you are talking to an australian and they ask how are you it's kind of just like how are you mate mate it's like how are you with the mate at the end so how are you mate how are you doing today you know what's up that's also another word what's up is another huge thing that's used what's up how are you how are you mate how are you doing mate you know in the to dialogue they say it a little bit different they say Kamastaka, I think that's how it's saying. Kamastaka, kam, kamastaka. No, that's different. And in Australian, it's. How are you? How are you? Kamastaka. 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 I got it. Okay, so the kamastaka. That's. That's how are you in. Um, Filipinos, you're beautiful. Everyone's beautiful. Never forget that, my 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 dears. Never forget you're beautiful. <laughs> so you're beautiful. It's just you're beautiful in in Australian culture. I don't really know. You know, I'm not like know everything about Australian culture, but from what I know, it's just you're beautiful. 
in and yeah like everyone's beautiful never forget that it's just this one is just you're beautiful you're beautiful because everyone is beautiful but yeah you're just you're beautiful and then in the to dialogue it's hang on we just slow that down for a sec <laughs> that sounds super hard I think I got it. I think I got it. I did pretty well. I don't know if this is just to dialogue or just a Philippine language, so I'm just. I'm pretty sure it's a to dialogue, but if I get it wrong, don't judge. <laughs> Because I honestly am not 100% sure. Iyong magaganda. Iyong managanda. So, you are imyong yun You are imyong yun naganda. I'm gonna need to practice all these. <laughs> you are imyong yun naganda. That's nice. I actually like the sound. Iyong magaganda. It's got a touch to it. I don't know. It's. It's this pretty word. Iyong magaganda. Maganda is a pretty word. Iyong magaganda. Iyong magaganda. I like that one. Iyong magaganda. So that's your beautiful. <laughs> I think yeah, that's that's a pretty nice um word. It's pretty. I don't know, like that length. The Tatalog, like the Filipino languages, are very pretty and it's like very old fashioned, but they're very pretty. Like, I don't know, like, they're just, the words are just pretty. One that I have is It's a cold today. So it's like winter here all the time now. Well, not winter, it's autumn, but it's like cold here every day and every morning it's like cold. It's like nine degrees and I get really cold easily, so you know, it's really cold all the time and it sucks. <laughs> But, you know, warm up and we'll be fine. Stay strong. <laughs> but, it's cold today. I'm going to try and say this in the fill in the to dialogue. Let's see how we go. Now, or today, I don't know. This is all I can find on my translator. It's really hard because on the translator, it only comes up with some specific words, not sentences and stuff. So, it's really hard to learn sentences but i did find cold now we'll just try it see cold now so it's cold malamig ngayon malamig ngayon malamig i don't i don't know what um sort of i get really confused there's just so much so many different i just I think I just think too hard, I don't know, but I just get really confused with all the languages, to be honest. I'm really not good with languages at all, so it's really challenging and it's really hard. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to say them. <laughs> but we'll just try this. Malamig ngayon. Malamig, malamig niyong. That sounded like you're beautiful a bit. Malamig niyong. Malamig ngayon. Mal... Malmaning niyong. Malamig ngayon. Malamig niyong. So that is like a little bit of. T That's just a little bit of to dialogue and English in the Filipino language by itself. It's a bit hard, but one step at a time. This is only part one, so we're all good, you know. I'll learn and some more. This is just kind of like the first time of me learning the language and, you know learning teaching myself the language you know and learning so yeah it's a bit challenging but we're good <laughs> my laming neon so that's it's cold now it's really easy i know this it it's, it's not very hard so dinner time basically whenever they want to eat lunch dinner breakfast because they have like big meals their meals they have three meals a day and they have really big meals and they don't you know they eat a lot um from what i've been told anyway it's dinner time so they just say eat now so it's eat time or let's eat basically let's eat um it's it's super easy and 
honestly. Once a Filipino says to you, let's eat, it's dinner time, or it's eat time, or it's lunch time, breakfast time. So let's eat. It's super easy, and it's not that hard. Like, sometimes I even say it a few times to my, to the girls, um, to the two girls that I'm really close with, that I always, I'm always like with and stuff, and we, they always have said with them, let's eat sometimes, or they'll say, let's eat, you know, it's, and then we always say that's dinner time and eat time. So yeah, that's super easy. One is iced coffee. I love my iced coffee. I have one right here. <laughs> Honestly, I'm. A, I really. My iced coffee is great. I just. It's probably my one of my. I like tea, and I'm not really into much coffee. But once in a while, you know, if I haven't had a, a coffee or a, an iced coffee for ages, I'm gonna have one because I miss it. Because I. It's not very healthy, and I was trying to cut down on it. So, and I haven't had it for a while, so I'm gonna. So sometimes I just have it once a week or whatever. But yeah, iced coffee. Let's see what the Philippine, the to dialogue is for it. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure iced coffee, they just say iced coffee. Because I can't find anything on the to dialogue page, but in the Google Translate, it says that, this is what it says for iced coffee. It says, Kape ng yelo. So, I think that's just the Filipino language, it's not really the to dialogue. I think in to dialogue, to dialogue they just say iced coffee, um, which is kind of, because they use some words that they use, they use English, like English words, it's like half, in, it's like some basic words they just use English, or like some words they use English, it's the same, it's like English, same as English, but then there's some words they don't, but in the Filipino, just the Filipino language by itself, it's saying Kapelang yellow. Kapelang yellow. So I think that's just, yeah. Kapelang yellow. Kapelang yellow. I'm not. Kapelang yellow. Kapelang Kapelang yellow. Kapelang. Oh, I can't say this. <laughs> Gosh. Kapelang yellow. Kapelang yellow. <laughs> Okay, that's a bit tricky. Capella yellow. Capella, capella, capella yellow. Capella yellow. Capella yellow. That's a bit tricky, that one. We'll get that one day. <laughs> that's a tricky one, I'm not gonna lie. That's a really hard one. Next one is thank you. So, I think thank you here is just thanks mate or everything in basic words for in the Australian culture is thanks mate you know mate is always a big thing I don't normally use mate it just doesn't really come out of my mouth I don't know like it's just it's Australian culture but it's not like I feel like I don't know I just I just don't use it in our opinion or opinion I just say thank thank you or thanks you know, but you know, everyone's different. Every Australian will use mate. Some Australians use mate, and some won't. A little bit about this, the thank you one. Um, thank you. People would just say thank you, the Philippines, or the so some so, I've said it a few times, but I haven't said it in a while actually. I think being in lockdown and everything, you know, I haven't really said it. But I, I generally like I haven't. I normally just use English around them because I know a little bit of English and they like to learn from me but I think it's time I started learning from them their language but this is thank you salamat salamat so it's just thank you in the, in the to dialogue or the Filipino language as a whole I'm pretty sure you know I think that's just a whole kind of thing this is the last wording phrase that I have today bye or goodbye Goodbye. I think that can be used as sal salamat as well as um, thank you. I'm pretty sure you can use them both for bye, goodbye, and salamat. But I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure you can. But here it says palam is bye. I didn't, I searched that earlier, so I was, that's just what I wrote down. But if I'm wrong, don't take any. <laughs> 
don't take my wording for a right because I don't know the language fully and I'm just learning so I'm just trying to teach myself and I'm just learning and yeah so this is just a part one of it just the first time that I've started learning it so it's it's not perfect but we'll get there one day <laughs> trying to find some t um, tatalog jokes but then I couldn't find any so I'm just like you know why it doesn't matter I will come back you know in part two and find some jokes and we can talk about those jokes I'm just I'm not really sure of the language I don't want to say jokes that if it's a joke and I don't want to offend anyone because I don't really know how to say it so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video that was a very educational video for me I learned a lot so that's good and, and one step closer to being an educated person <laughs> Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I was just trying to teach myself and I thought I'd just bring you along with me. You know, maybe you guys want to know more about the Filipino language and wanted to learn. You probably didn't get half of what I said, but I tried to go as slow as possible so you can learn. I hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And come back for my next video. I'm not sure when that will be. I'm just really busy with study at the moment, so kind of just do videos randomly and just whenever I'm just taking a break from study I just film it or whatever or whenever I have content I can film so the Australian lockdown rules are starting to ease soon I can go back see the girls and I'm really excited for the day that comes I miss them <laughs> but I can go back see my, all my friends and that'll be so fun and we can do some more vlogs if we can go places and we can go back to doing lots of cool vlog vlogs if you have any ideas or anything to say comment below in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as i can i hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to like my video subscribe and share and thank you for watching my videos and don't forget to like my facebook page as well i will put the link down below Bye.